women out there, you need to raise your bar for the type of men that you are dating. And in this video, I'm about to explain what I mean by that and what you need to do. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. As you probably saw from the thumbnail, this video is going to have a little bit to do with the horror flick, Happy Death Day. Now, why am I doing this video? This video is basically falling into the category of relationships and I really want to do more videos on relationships because relationships have a lot to do with your mental health. A lot of relationships that end or toxic relationships lead to anxiety, they lead to depression. So I'm trying to do videos to help you out to acknowledge the certain patterns that you're getting into that are triggering this poor mental health. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the movie Happy Death Day. If you have not seen it yet, there will be one very minor spoiler, but you need to watch this video anyways. And I do wanna throw a big fact disclaimer out there. No, I am not saying all women. So if you do not fall into this category of this video, don't even worry about it. But I do want you to share this video with one of your friends who may be doing what this video is talking about. So. Real quick plot scenario for Happy Death Day. It's just a kind of B-rated horror flick that came out this year in 2017. And it's about a girl who dies and every day she wakes up. It's like a horror version of Groundhog's Day. So she dies, she wakes up, tries to find out who the killer is, all sorts of stuff. So the main character, Teresa, AKA Tree, she is kind of like the party girl. She sleeps with a lot of guys. She doesn't really care and Throughout this movie, you see that there's obviously a guy who's pining for her. Every morning when she wakes up, she wakes up in this guy's dorm room. His name is Carter. And as she keeps waking up in her dorm room, she figures, since she sleeps with pretty much everybody, she figures that her and him slept together. And after like the 50 millionth time that she dies and wakes up, her and Carter are sitting down having a conversation and Carter lets the cat out of the bag and he lets her know, no, we did not sleep together. And this is what this video is about. Right then, as soon as Carter tells her that he did not sleep with her because she was blackout drunk the, lot, the night before, she gets that look in her eye. One of those, oh, and that's when she starts falling for Carter. And right then and there, I stopped everything and I turned to my girlfriend who I was watching this with and I was like, are you serious right now? And here's why if I freaked out so bad. See, I'm of the belief that without even knowing it, men and women alike, we're trained to believe what relationships or what romance should be like based on all of the film and TV or even books out there, right? And when a movie like this depicts something like that, like it is terrible. Why is it terrible? Like. Her bar for what a decent man is, is a guy who didn't sleep with her when she was blackout drunk. Like, are you kidding me right now? And the reason I'm making this is because the same reason why I feel that I'm very qualified to give you this advice, I used to be one of the scummiest dudes on earth. I was a terrible man. I am perfectly qualified to explain to you why this is terrible for women when you're looking for a guy to date. See, I wasn't all that great. I was a drug addict, I was an alcoholic, I was very selfish, I was self-centered. Not only did I get into relationships with toxic women, but I was a toxic man. And when courting a woman, one of my strategies was to learn about the terrible guy she used to date. And then I was just like, okay, so I just need to be a little bit better than that. So when Teresa, gives this guy the lovey-dovey googly eyes like oh he's such a sweetheart like not sleeping with somebody when they're blackout drunk doesn't mean this is a knight in shining armor that's like we call that basic human decency so like this guy for all she knew at this point this dude could have been the murderer oh i guess that was a spoiler he's not the murderer but anyways like this guy could have had 
terrible, terrible flaws. Like, and this is something that movies do all the time, but you know, in an effort to compress the story down, but she didn't even know this guy. She didn't know anything about him. She met him when she was blackout drunk and this conversation they were having was over breakfast. She knows nothing about this guy, but she starts falling for him just because he, she knows that one of his best qualities is that he doesn't sleep with women while they're drunk. Now, this is a very good quality to have, but one of the things, like I have a lot of female friends I also know guys who do this too. They latch on to this very minuscule thing and they think, oh my God, this is my soulmate. And it's a very small minuscule thing when when you're getting in a relationship, there needs to be a complete picture, right? Does this person have other qualities that you're looking for? Are they a decent human being? Are they decent to other people? All these other things that you won't know just based on this one thing. But so many people, and check out the info card for one of my other videos, so many people have been in such terrible relationships over and over and over and over again that the smallest things seems like a big deal and oh my god now i'm in love i need to be with this person it's the first guy i've ever met who doesn't sleep with women while they're drunk like that is not where you need to set your bar you are worth more than that you are better than that you deserve better than that raise your bar a lot higher. So if you are a woman out there who is watching this and you have dated a ton of terrible guys, that doesn't mean you need to go straight for the next guy who is even halfway decent. But like I said at the beginning of this video, if this video has nothing to do with you and this was very common sense for you, share this with one of your friends or a lot of your friends because I guarantee you know somebody who does this. You know somebody who latches on to the next guy or girl who has one small redeeming quality and that makes them think that they're in love and this is not the case. For example, you might latch onto the fact that they make money. Just because they make money doesn't mean that they're a decent human being. Or you might latch onto this person because they're a good father to their kid like congratulations you're a decent parent like what else do they have to offer you like i will do many 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 more videos on this but just really start to think think about this stuff and see who you're latching on to and why and how much does it have to do with your past relationships when you're doing this all right so if you want to go check out happy death day it was like Meh. But if you like this video and you want me to do more videos on this stuff, please give this thing a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos about mental health. So make sure you click that little round subscribe button and right over there to the left of me, click or tap on one of those thumbnails and check out some of the other awesome videos on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.